everyone, it's Gromadier from Loudwire. To my left, AFI's Davey Havoc, and we're going to do some Wikipedia fact or fiction. Let's do it. All right. Thank you so much for coming, first of all. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right. So, firstly, uh, you were born David Payton Pissarro. That is correct. That's, that's correct. Okay, good. That is correct. That is true. That's good that they got that right, because they got Lita Ford's name wrong at one point. Like... I think it said like Carmelita Ford oh. or something. Like that. Some what is her name? Lita Ford. It's just Lita Ford. Yeah. It's a real name. <laughs> yeah. um, but then uh, it says that your father passed away mm -hmm. when you were three and. Five. There you go. Uh, That's why we do this thing. Five. <laughs> five. Five years right. old. So five. Um, and when your mother remarried, you took the name of your stepfather, which was uh, Marchand. That is correct. This is all on Wikipedia. It, you haven't looked at your page? I don't spend a lot of time looking at my page. There's mirrors. So this will be good. They, they tend to distract me more so than <laughs> sentences about myself. You know, th this is interesting because uh, since you were five yep. uh, when he passed away, I thought that you were three because of what it said. So I was going to ask, is there any memories you have of him? So I do have a few memories of my father, yeah, but before he passed away, of my biological. He would, um, he would come and, and pick me up, and I remember he gave me my first skateboard, which was a little plastic skateboard, and he, was, um, he seemed very beloved in, uh, in New York and Rochester where I was born, and uh, he would take me to different places where the owner of the greenhouse Marvin Gardens would give me a star cactus which is an actually uncanny creation that doesn't exist I'm told is some weird hybrid of cactuses but have you seen these cactuses Do you own something that didn't exist well no they exist oh. but, but they're they were um, they were a matter of science they would uh, they would okay. clip a piece of one cactus and put it on another cactus and make this pretty little uh, uh, ornamental cactus all right um, and he would take me to um, you know burger spots there's a place called Vic and Herbs that I remember he would take me and uh, we'd get like red hots and burgers this is obviously before I had uh, realized that I needed to evolve uh, with the rest of my species and become a vegan um, I was um, I, I remember I remember those experiences and I actually spoke of an experience he's, he was involved in uh, off this camera um, in Santa Cruz where uh, he was uh, he, he took me to an arcade once uh, I played Pac-Man for the first time it says, in high school one day, you and your friends, Mark and Vic, mm -hmm. decided to start a band even though none of you owned or played an instrument. Correct. Yeah. Very, very, very true. We were, I uh, can remember it like it was yesterday, sitting in our section of the, what was a tri, which was a, a sunken concrete triangle in the okay. center of the school. And there were designated areas for designated cliques. Of and course, our, we were a clique of three, <laughs> and um, inspired by the DIY ethic of hardcore bands from DC and Los Angeles, we said, "Let's start a band," and we did it. And we called dibs. We called dibs on instruments. Really? Mm -hmm. So did you immediately want to go? I'm. I want. Yeah, to they. Uh, Mark's like dibs on guitar, and Vic said dibs on bass, and I said I'm singing, and they said, "Yeah, we know choir boy." Yeah. <laughs> And this is in, in Southern California? This is in Northern California. This is okay. this is in Mendocino County. Okay, gotcha. Um, but you did, uh, to say, you went to UC Berkeley, mm -hmm. and you planned uh, to double major in English and mm -hmm. psychology. Mm -hmm. This is true. I declared a double major, and then after finishing the prereqs for both of the majors, that's when I dropped out. Okay, so how many years was that? Just two. Two years? Just two. It was two okay. before I quit. Okay. Uh, was it just to focus on the band? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. As you mentioned, uh, you're an outspoken advocate of the vegan lifestyle. Did I mention that? I think you did. Odd. And also uh, the straight edge lifestyle as well. True. Uh, was that sort of uh, from your influence of like the DC hardcore bands? Very much so. I, well, um, I mean, to be honest, my distaste for drug culture pre-existed um, to my knowledge of, of straight edge. And I was, uh, I was a part of the underground music scene and the punk scene and the hardcore sure. scene. And um, the self-destructive nature of it never appealed to me in the same way it didn't appeal to me in the mainstream. And, um, you know, recreational drug use is a mandatory form of 
recreation never appealed to me and I never understood it. And then I discovered Minor Threat and I discovered a community of people and a movement that shared my outlook, um, not only on drug use, but we had artistic affinities, uh, artistic affinities that were similar. And um, from that moment on, I said, wow, this is, this is what I am. I'm, I'm straight edge. And I am. All right. Uh, this one really interested me. Uh, it says in the year 2000, okay. you were approached by Roadrunner Records to become the new singer of the Misfits, but you declined. I, I think that is true. I, I think okay. um, so uh, a man named Mike, Mike Gitter, and okay. I've forgotten about this, but people, I, now I, I recall, but I'd forgotten about it for years and someone brought it up and I forgot about it entirely. But it happened. Um, yeah, Mike called me up and it was around then. And um, and he said, hey, the Misfits are getting back together. and Or maybe they already had at that. No, they I had. Think this because was after Michelle. Yeah, they had, al- yeah they, had al- they had already done it. And um, yeah, they asked me if I wanted to sing, but it wasn't something I was interested in. Was it easy decision? Like, yeah, it was pretty easy. Wow. Uh, you're a big fashion guy, absolutely. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan of style. Yes, as, a, as you can see. Well, thank you. Uh, you launched the clothing line uh, Glitter Boy yes. first. Yes, yes. And then it was Payton. Then the next one. And the next one was Zoo Boutique. Correct. Which is uh, actually a vegan line. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of vegan themes that would run through the designs, but not okay. entirely. A lot of it was um, music influenced as well but um, yeah those were the, th- the three um, collapsed lines that uh, the, that I attempted but so is the world isn't it isn't it, isn't it isn't that the case in the fashion world world the the doggy dog fashion world I wouldn't know it, it, it is you, know, you never know um, and you worked with uh, Macbeth footwear yeah to create a limited edition shoe yes but it said that the government had seized your website domain they did i i i can't i can't i can't talk about that but um okay. but yeah but they did uh, it didn't have anything to do with Mac- macbeth um but the macbeth shoes were very exciting my friend jimmy throgmorton worked for macbeth and he approached me about doing a collaboration and that's with mark hoppus um and right. mark that was his shoes yes right and um and Jimmy approached me about, about doing an original shoe, and I said, well, can I cover it in rhinestones? And he said, yes. I said, well, then, as long as it's vegan, we've got a deal. And uh, they created a nice little velvet shoe bag for me. It was, it was, it was, it was a fun, fun shoe. Cool. Uh, last one. Uh, with you uh, and Jade, a guitarist for AFI, of course, mm-hmm. uh, you have matching tattoos of a cat jumping through the number nine. That's correct. We do. What's the significance of that? It's it's just a piece of flash um, created by an East Coast native, um, Dan Higgs, that we were a fan of. And um, we had our then friend and still friend, Eric Hogan, rest in peace, um, put it on us as, as a friendship tattoo. We, we liked the flash and we wanted to get it. So we said, yeah, we'll just, just get it. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Absolutely. Thank you for setting the record straight. Some of these very important things. A lot of truths. A lot of truths. They did well. Shockingly. They did well by you. They Shockingly. did well. Good job. I'll get you next yeah. time. Promise.